this is a serious strategic misjudgment. It is a misguided anticipation that will be extremely detrimental to U.S. interests and the future of the United States. However, this, regrettably, this self-imagined suspicion is spreading. Self-imagined suspicion. That was China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi last Friday at the Council on Foreign Relations, where I was selected to participate in a special Q&A session. He said, in essence, that the U.S. is paranoid. China means no harm or threat. And now, fast forward to today, Vice President Mike Pence blasting China, putting our foreign adversary on notice as it concerns U.S. democracy. As President Trump said just last week, we have, in his words, found that China has been attempting to interfere in our upcoming midterm elections. Our intelligence community says that China is targeting U.S. state and local governments and officials to exploit any divisions between federal and local levels on policy. Vice President's speech planned uh, before the release to the world this, Bloomberg News revealing that Chinese spies inserted tiny, tiny chips in U.S. servers with the hope of stealing corporate secrets and gaining access to CIA and U.S. naval networks, among others. Apple, Amazon, among those exposed. Google also insights here, saying that Chinese spies weaponized the tech giant server motherboards. At least sources said that. The companies are, in essence, denying that spy chips were inserted in their equipment. Will this ramp up an already tense standoff between the U.S. and China? Gary Locke is the former U.S. ambassador to China and former Commerce Secretary. Uh, oh, boy, Ambassador, I, I have to just get right to this. It looks like the Chinese weaponized the supply chains of Apple and Amazon or the companies from whom they bought their servers. How does this affect an already very tense standoff? Well, we're going to have to get to the bottom of all the details, especially as your earlier report said the companies have denied mm -hmm. uh, being hacked or being uh, having any of these components in their uh, in their motherboards or in their uh, servers. Uh, but it's uh, obviously a, a very serious allegation, and we're going to have to get to the bottom. But the, the bottom of the thing is that it doesn't help with the current state of U.S.-China relations, which are at an all-time high, uh, all-time low, excuse me, with the trade difficulties and some of the military uh, maneuvers that have almost caused an accident or a collision of our naval forces in the South China Sea uh, and everything else that's going on. So uh, this has got to be of great concern. China, I understand angry because President Trump has started this trade war. But by the way, the allegations of these chips being placed hidden inside these motherboards goes back to before he was president, 2015, uh, when President Obama was president. And who knows? I mean, maybe these companies don't want to admit that, they're, that some of their equipment was compromised. We are, as you said, still uh, waiting for that investigation. But Wang Yi, the foreign minister, and I took these notes, because old school, right, on my notepad, and I grabbed it from last week. He said, all living things can live in harmony without hurting each other. China has, this is what he said, China has never provoked conflict. We can live and achieve true harmony. And I, all I can think of is the islands they built in the South China Sea where they put military installments right on them. What is he talking about? Does he think that our government, whether it's Republicans or Democrats, don't notice this and see? Uh, when those islands were being built up, uh, uh, the Obama administration had gr very, very grave concerns, along with concerns of the neighboring countries. And it just did not make sense that if they were really uh, developing these islands uh, uh, to use uh, to help uh, uh, for navigation, to patrol navigation, why are they putting actually offensive military equipment uh, on them, whether it's ballistic missiles, uh, missile batteries, or uh, a huge... Uh, landing strips for military aircraft. Should we, as companies in America, and maybe even the Navy, cease and desist any part of a supply chain, sir, that goes through China? Well, obviously, uh, we depend uh, so much on materials and supplies that come from China, whether rare earths that are used by American companies uh, in manufacturing for much, much of the high-tech equipment that we use on a daily basis. Uh, to clothes and, and shoes and everything else. Uh, so obviously our trade is so interdependent and so much of what America makes, what we grow on our farms, what we manufacture, 
uh, are destined for China. So we have become each other's largest mm. trading partners with millions and millions of jobs on both sides of the Pacific okay. dependent on that trade with each other. Clearly, America has, and American companies, and not just American companies, but foreign companies, have a lot of concerns about the economic trade investment policies of China. Uh, the fact that so many parts of the Chinese gotcha. economy okay. are off, sec off limits to All foreign right. investment. Uh, and if you do invest, you cannot be a majority partner. And there's that forced technology transfer. I think all of these issues is uh, uh, making American companies and companies right. around the world rethinking yeah, some rethink, of their supply, trying to diversify and get some things from outside of China. Good to see you, uh, Ambassador. Thank you for your perspective. Former Ambassador to China, Gary Locke.